again today at the same park. This is probably gonna be my last park hunt here, and then I'm gonna switch to a different one. I know, I know uh, three other good parks I can hunt, and um, I've already hit this pretty good with the Equinox. And uh, one YouTuber that subscribed to my channel, Okie Dogie, he said uh, with the settings. From the iron bias, change it down to two from the stock program. So I uh, went ahead and did that. I'm gonna give it a try and see what kind of luck that brings us. But um, thanks again for the advice, and uh, we'll give it a try and see if we can find something <coughs> out here. All right. The settings are pretty much the same. You know, um, I think sensitivity of 23 right now. Uh, ground balance at 10 volume 22 threshold 12 five tones accept reject negative nine uh, and five for recovery speed already noise canceled so it's ready to run it's running pretty quiet so see what we can find all right yeah, signal here um it is a little windy today I did the best I could to try to protect the cover the speakers up, but it, it's still a little bit windy. Anyways, I got a signal here. It goes all the way to about 19, 17, 19. Shows a little bit deeper. Let's get that a dig. It goes to about 16. That's seven inches already. So possibly an eight inch target. Yeah. All right. It's like a piece of uh, aluminum. Nothing to get fancy about, but just piece of them. That was ringing up from 16 and 19. All right, on to the next one. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. Yeah. I don't normally dig those, but I'll dig, I think like, I always try to dig about five or 10 of those targets. Never know, it could be a gold ring also. All right, on to the next one. Goes from 20 to 26. All 
All right, let's give that a dig. I think it's right in this area. That wasn't very exciting. <laughs> it's like a handle off of something. So that's why it sounded deeper because it was picking up this uh, this brass connection here. All right. On to the next one. Target I would normally not dig, but I'm just gonna get it anyway. Bounces from 15 to 18. <laughs> Right. Let's give it a shot. Okay, something down there. And normally I would not dig this, whatever it is. That's right, the machine was telling me it was junk, if you got the numbers, but it's another little piece of aluminum. That was down at least seven inches, so I hit, hit, picked it up no problem. So this big coil is doing its job. Anyways, fill this back up. I got a signal here. It's bouncing from 23 to 25. <laughs> I'm not sure about this one. It's not uh, pinpointing very strong, but it sounds loud.
Yeah, this is all mulch right here. I don't plan on finding anything. Good over here. I'm sorry, it is windy today. I think the wind said it was like 15 miles an hour today. Might be more. No. But on the beach, it's just pushing. Sand it in really bad. Just pushing um, sand up. Wow, that was a coin. That doesn't sound like a coin at all. Just a clad dime. I want to rescan that hole. Target didn't sound that good at all, that's all. Yeah, it's weird. Plug is right here. Let me just pinpoint, see if there's anything around it. Sounds like there's something on the side over here. Okay, anyways, I've got two targets here. An 18. Probably a coin spill. Not deep. But. I'll dig it anyway. Penny, a little bit uh, older one, 1970. Go. Make sure there's nothing else there. All right, that's good. Have fun at this park for a long time, so. I guess I gotta dig what I can. I've dug most of the deep, deeper signals up. Uh, one YouTuber that was uh, telling me on my uh, comments, he was telling me to get a Fisher CZ 3D in here with a uh, larger coil. And I'll try and, I'm gonna take that advice so I can find one on, on eBay for uh, probably like a decent price. And then I can try it out, you know, for a few months and then uh, Hit this park with it, and might be it might have a good uh, result. Anyways, uh, here we go. It's reading. About a twenty-four, twenty-five. I don't think it's deep, but I'll just dig it anyway. Let's 
see what we got here. All right, just a copper penny. And, uh, 1970s, looks like. Yeah, nothing special. Just a copper penny. Here we go. Horrible signal here, but I'm gonna, we haven't found much today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dig it. deeper as far as I can tell or there's a lot of trash around it I say it's gonna be about right there After all that rain, look how dry this dirt is. Amazing. in the head.
coin. But uh, that's deep. Almost looks like a rivet, like a, like a copper rivet. I don't know if you can see that. But that small little object was. I dug that down about there. coin but that's okay anyways it's starting to get dark so that was a good little hunt I got a decent signal here just be a coin swirl. So 21 here. And then there's another one right here. So it's back to back. But this one's shown it has some depth to it. I think the other one was just a fresh drop. It was reading like around the 20. It's probably gonna be my last dig. It's getting dark right now. Bottom of the hole. And I'm uh, more than eight inches. Still going. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm starting to get deep now. If that's a coin, that would be pretty cool. Oh, what is that? Looks like it might have came off an old toy. Old, uh, shoot. Maybe like an old airplane. car though or or airplane or something like that some of those vintage ones I've, I've dug some vintage uh toy cars over here too matter of fact i might just show i might just make a video show you all my like uh old pocket watches i've dug old toys and stuff maybe i'll throw that in this video since it wasn't very long too anyways uh I'm gonna check out the sound quality because 
I put I took some of like an old cotton like a cotton ball and I kind of tore it apart a little bit and kind of stuffed it in the uh, GoPro housing where the uh, where the wind channel where the uh, noise channels are all right anyways that's it okay let's do a wrap-up video of the short park hunt that I just finished up on didn't really find too much but uh, that's everything one quarter one dime three pennies uh, I believe that's off a toy uh, airplane I believe that old screw that rivet some aluminum and then uh, because that was such a va uh, sad uh, video sad hunt I thought I would just show some of my other uh, items that I've dug up from a park and um, old schools like all the bullet casings toys um, this actually was an old phone it came off a phone um, receiver the handle that part came off of it too and um, just a lot of weird stuff that I've dug up vintage you know I thought that was cool I just was gonna keep that an old uh, Sears key old bracelet uh, this one says LA County little tag that says LA County on it I thought that was pretty cool I did keep that and then um, on to some more other items I found and an older key some old razors that I've dug up in the park those are some old razors I don't know if those are used in the 40s or 50s or not but <laughs> What it is about finding razors at the park, I have no idea, but that was pretty funny. But just a good view of everything I've dug up here. These are old, uh, I guess, old lipstick uh, cases or samples, what they were called. And this is actually um, an old uh, lipstick casing, too. And it had a lady's uh, name on it. It says uh, Mary. It's hard to read right now, but I looked it up. It's it's uh, I dug it up at Wilmington Park, uh, Banning Banning Park, where the old Banning House was was located. Uh, Mary Ald, old or something like that. But it has her name engraved into it, which is pretty cool. Someone's personal items. Uh, some old toy cars, old knife, uh, pocket watches. It's two old pocket. This is a. Uh, let's see. This one right here is a United States Marine Corps pocket watch. It's engraved. And I believe these are like old makeup casings too. And another old watch, a spike from a railroad that I've dug close over there. But yeah, that's just my wrap up video of everything I left. I'll go into wheat pennies and silver coins on the next one. I'm probably going to do a giveaway on that too. Okay, um, see you on the next one. Oh, yeah, and then just some other little random items that I found too. I just keep them all in this little case. And. That's it. All right. See you on the next one. Bye.